Hey guys! Okay, so I just want to do some hacks for the Burn Fat Orlando program and I'm going to try and keep it quick. So you guys saw in the last video all of the vitamins that I have to take and the supplements that I have to take and I found it a little bit overwhelming to try and keep track of everything and how much of each I was supposed to take. So I went on Amazon and found this amazing pill box. So this is what it looks like. So this is a pill box and um, basically it allows me to pre-prep for seven days and because I have to take some of my pills in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night, it'll let me do that. It'll also open up and allow me to take out just one of these containers and so I can pop it in my purse and go. The other hack that I came up with is within the journal itself, it does allow for a sample, um, a sample menu so there is a sample menu that you can follow and then a shopping list. However, I don't particularly eat venison or buffalo. I don't eat shellfish. And so because I was limited in what I could eat, what I decided was I was going to have my own personal journal. And within that own personal journal, I actually made a menu for myself. So I followed the same basics that they had and basically did a fruit, a protein, a veggie. I messed up my labeling and it's another protein, veggie, and fruit. But basically, this allowed me to plan out my entire week. And then on the other side, I had a shopping list. Now, when I went to the store, um, they didn't have everything that I wanted. And so what I did was I knew that I had to have 14 portions of veggies. And so I substituted based off of what made the most amount of sense. In my house, I do have other people. So what I did was I clearly labeled all of my food. And that allowed me to keep my food separate to make sure that I did have the food that I needed as the days came by. I also meal prepped. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start showing you guys the food that I prepped for myself, um, how I prep extra meat, and then the best, best recipes that I have for fish. Because you have to eat fish every night. I'm not a huge fan of fish, but I did find a couple of recipes um, that make up a really, really delicious fish, even though we're not able to use any sort of butter or oil or anything like that. So I'll keep you guys posted on that.